So today we're gonna to go over a male-female pelvic girdle. I'm gonna give you a few points to identify whether this is male or female. The first distinguishing factor is going to be the pubic arch or pubic angle located right here. So females are 110 degrees or greater, males are typically 90 degrees or less. You see how narrow this one is. You'll also notice that the obturator foramen is a little bit different. Females are typically wider, whereas males are typically longer. The coccyx is gonna be different. So a male coccyx is gonna be long and wide, and a female coccyx is going to be very short and narrow. So we're looking at that triangular shaped bone there that Galen named. The greater sciatic notch is also different. So here you will see a very wide greater sciatic notch. On a male, you're gonna see a very narrow greater sciatic notch right there. The coccyx um, above it is the sacrum, and a, that sacrum is shaped a little bit different. So with males, it comes down and then points anterior. Females, it's gonna point inferior, so it's gonna come straight down. Below the iliac crest, you will notice that with females, this area right here is pretty thin. With males, it's gonna be thicker. So I can show you that with a light. See how this will illuminate because it's so thin. Whereas a male, it's not gonna illuminate as much. All right, so those are just some of the differences that you will see between a female pelvic girdle here and a male pelvic girdle here. And the whole point of those differences is because of reproduction. A female has to get an infant through there. And so if you think about the size of an infant, right, the head of them is roughly the size of your fist. So that has to be able to go through that pelvic girdle, whereas with a male, it's not gonna happen. So let's look at that real quick. So this would be the size of a fetal skull, right? And so that has to get through that pelvic girdle here. Whereas with a male, that's not gonna happen, right? So that's not gonna go through there. But with a female, it will. So that will fit through there. So that's one way that you can figure out if it's male or female, along with the scientific anatomical differences between the two.